Good morning and welcome to a new market update in which we are going to discuss the movements of Bitcoin and Ethereum and why we are facing such an important resistance that we have to break through and what the actual reason is why the dollar has been going down or why Bitcoin has been showing some strength. That is what we're going to discuss in today's short update. But before that, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can do that when it doesn't cost you anything. Also, make sure to like this YouTube update if you enjoy the content. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I'm posting daily content on the markets. So when we're looking at the market at this stage, we've seen a very strong bounce on the equities markets as the Nasdaq has been jumping up swiftly, but also European stock markets have been showing strength. Alongside with that, we've also been seeing Bitcoin bouncing up as Bitcoin is still swimming around 38.4K at this point, And Ethereum has also been bouncing back. So the entire markets have, or the, all the markets have been making a relief bounce or at least some short term momentum to the upside instead of in the downwards correction that the markets have been seeing in the past few months. And what is the actual reason that we are seeing this strength on the markets or at least this upwards movements right now? Well, that's actually because of a, a weak dollar. The dollar has been correcting after a big move since the Fed meeting and the uh, results came out of the FOMSI meeting. Um, since then, the dollar has been searching heavily. And in that case, we have been seeing the weakness on Bitcoin staking uh, or happening on the markets. But right now we are having a slight corrective move on the dollar and that is ultimately resulting into strength on the equities markets. Does that mean that the markets are clear or done with the actual correction? No, I think that everyone is focused too much on the trend line that we see with Bitcoin at this stage. And I think that you should be focused on levels that we are going to reclaim. There have been numerous cases where we've been breaking through the trend line and just drop back down again as it's a fake out as in that case we can clearly or easily break the trend line but still reject at the previous support level at 41k and then re or drop back down towards the range lows something that you should be taking into account is also the weak volume that we're currently experiencing in the markets the entire rally is not showing strength in terms of volume and through that we could be getting another corrective move so let's head towards the charts and discuss what we are seeing currently. So first of all, as we just discussed, the DXY has been showing strength, right? However, the DXY is still facing this higher time frame resistance zone as we have been having volatile movements previously too. So this entire level that we've got here or this entire block that is still the resistance zone that the dollar has to break through. Right now, we can see heavy volatility happening as there was a big bounce on the dollar and now a big correction back again. This might be a case that we're going to reverse in the coming period and we get a weaker dollar. But at this stage, we can only conclude that we've had a volatile move or a surge upwards resulting into a corrective period on Bitcoin and right now, the reverse on the dollar has happened and because of that we are seeing strength on the Bitcoin. What is the level for the dollar to watch? Well technically speaking I'd want to see the hold around 95.8 and when we are going to get some more upwards momentum that is most likely where we are going to, uh, to um, get weakness on Bitcoin itself as those are very much inversely correlated with each other. Looking at the indices we can see that we've got this beautiful bounce as well from the previous high. Uh, we are facing resistance zones there as well. I've been stating that previously that the chances that we're going to have some upwards momentum are definitely there. But the question is whether we're going to crack through resistance zones uh, which are 15.1k and 15.5k. But uh, nonetheless, we are having an upwards run of 9% on the indices. And we were actually ready for a bounce to be taking place um, as the sentiment was lower than the sentiment was during the crash in March 2020. If the indices are ready to break through these zones, I think we are eager for new all-time highs. And then stocks like Apple are going to make those new all-time highs 
as Apple for instance is also quite close towards one after just a beautiful retest. So now we're going back towards Bitcoin in which Bitcoin is currently still fighting this trend or fighting the resistance zone that we also have to break through. This entire region is something that we have to break. We have been doing a bounce above the previous highs. So technically speaking, we could be saying that the trend is upwards um, since the crash. But what do we see more? We are seeing a lower volume in this entire upwards run. And we can also see, and I'll just erase everything, that the level that we actually have to break through is 40.7k that to 41k that level still has to break and everything beneath that level could easily be a retest before we start to reverse and usually we take the staircase up and the elevator down in which we've also have been have been seeing a retest taking place previously and a heavy correction since so at this stage and i'll just make it a clean chart at this stage, we are holding the crucial level, which is the previous high, right? That is the barrier that we should be sustaining. If that is lost, this entire move is a fake out. And I think we're going to take the liquidity beneath this level, resulting into a test around 36K. Very simple price action. If we do hold here, however, that is going to open the gates towards a potential test of 40.7K. So if we do hold and attack the highs again, I'm assuming we're going to get this test towards the range of 40.7 to 41k. However, most of the people are looking at that level for a potential play. So if we're going to get there, we might be getting ourselves into this rising wedge construction um, in which we are finding ourselves a potential top and have another corrective period later before we are going to have a higher time frame bullish divergence being created here resulting in the end and resulting in the end of the correction overall so i would not be chasing many longs at this stage i think it's uh mostly scalp trading sessions and if we get into this range potentially de-risk or tp that is what you want to be looking at and if we get a clear lower high that is going to be the first short trigger that you should be looking at if however we break through that is going to be massive by the dip opportunities but right now it's still a very boring market the volume is still draining down and we're just squeezed in between levels and indecisive on which way we want to go so that's the update for today i'll be back tomorrow don't forget or actually i'm back to later today make sure to subscribe beneath and i'll see you again at a later point in time